Oh no! Lizard, Venom and the Green Goblin have robbed the bank. Luckily, some of the Avengers were nearby. Captain America informed the Hulk and Iron Man and off they went. When they got to the bank, no one was there. But the bags of stolen money were. Very strange, thought Iron Man. Hold on, growled the Hulk. These are full of underwear, not money. Oh no, cried Captain America. We've been tricked. Hulk was getting angry. What the superheroes didn't realise was that Lizard, Venom and the Green Goblin were all hiding on the roof with a net. They threw it on the heroes. We're stuck, cried Captain America. The bad guys climbed down and showed them the real money before running away. Splatter, Dodge and Diesel 10 had agreed to be their getaway train. However, what they didn't realise was that there was a fourth hero in the net. Ant-Man. Go get them Ant-Man, said Captain America. So Ant-Man hopped through one of the holes in the net and ran after the trains. Luckily, he knew a shortcut. So he got into place and waited for the first train. When Dodge arrived, he gave him a good thump which knocked him right off the track. What was that? asked Dodge. I don't know, replied Lizard, but Ant-Man wasn't done. He went over to Lizard and knocked him down too, before heading off to the next train. What the? said Splatter. Again, Ant-Man made sure the Green Goblin couldn't escape and went off to sort out the final train. He hit Diesel 10 so hard, the bridge broke. Ant-Man also sorted out them. He then returned the money to the bank and freed the superheroes. Thanks Ant-Man, said Captain America. What do we do with the bad guys? asked Iron Man. I think they've learnt their lesson, said Ant-Man. So we'll leave them where they are for now. It was just another normal day at Batman's headquarters. Then, all of a sudden, the airwaves were interrupted by a TV broadcast. Batman, come and look, said Robin. The broadcast showed that terrible villain, the Joker. Look, he's captured the fastest car in the world, Lightning McQueen, and he said he will only release him if he gets 1,000 toys. A thousand toys? Imagine what would happen to the toys if the Joker got them. We've got to stop him. Can you get a location for that broadcast, Robin? Just getting it now. Yes, got it. A railway bridge called Wellsworth. I don't know that bridge, but see if you can find out more and I'll get in the car. Oh, Batman, remember, the car's in for a service. I'll take the bike, said Batman. He went down the lift, got on the bike and it wouldn't start. Just then, 
Thomas came by. Hello Batman, do you need a lift? Yes please Thomas. The Joker's captured Lightning McQueen and is holding him by a bridge with Wellsworth written on it. Oh I know that one. Here, put these on said Batman. Thomas now felt really important. They left. Thomas was familiar with the Wellsworth crossing and took Batman there by the quickest route. When they got there, Batman jumped off Thomas and knocked the Joker to the ground. While he was down, he freed McQueen. And when the Joker got back to his feet, he threw the net over him. Not this time, Joker, said Batman. You're coming with me. McQueen said thank you and vanished. Batman got the Joker onto Thomas's truck and off they went back towards Batman's headquarters. But it wasn't over yet. As they sped along, the Joker seized his chance and threw himself off the truck. Thomas slammed his brakes on and then reversed quickly. Luckily, the Joker was so well tied up he couldn't run off and Batman got him back on the truck. They returned to Batman's headquarters and with Robin's help they put the Joker into the prison. Batman and Robin thanked Thomas for his help and his knowledge of the track. Can I keep the mask and cape? he asked. My friends won't believe me otherwise. Of course you can, said Batman. Goodbye. The Joker looked out from his prison. You'll pay for this, Batman. We'll see. The wind has blown the treasure map into the water. How can the minions get it back? Easy, easy. Okay Zuma, said Ryder, looks like a minion has fallen into the water. Let's go and save him. Oh, 
more treasure. Gold! Here it is, Zuma. You can get into this. Good luck and watch out for sharks. Well done Zuma, you did it! Hopefully the minions can now enjoy their new treasure. The Green Goblin and Diesel 10 have stolen all the chocolate eggs on the island of Sodor. We're going to have to get them back, said Iron Man. The Green Goblin noticed the superheroes at the station and quickly got onto Diesel 10. I'll go first, said Captain America, and off he went with Thomas. The track was very bumpy, and one of the eggs fell off the train without the Green Goblin noticing. Thomas and Captain America came across the plane's egg on the side of the track. They took it back and opened it at the station. It was now Hulk's turn to get another egg back. Hulk got off and with his enormous strength threw the egg onto the platform. He then leaped after it and began to unwrap. The Green Goblin was still on the move, but dropped another egg. I'll see if he's dropped another one, said Captain America, and off he went.
He got off the train to pick the Kinder's Transformers egg up and carry it back to the station. Thomas was catching Diesel 10 up. Noticing this, the Green Goblin threw one of the eggs off to try and speed up. Hulk stopped to pick the egg up. Diesel 10 and the Green Goblin were racing along when all of a sudden they came across a log on the track. Seeing them stop, Iron Man quickly flew in to take the egg from behind the Green Goblin's back and flew back to the platform to open the egg. We have to go through the log, said the Green Goblin, but Diesel 10 crashed, which knocks the Green Goblin over. Iron Man then swooped in and grabbed the Green Goblin and dropped him into the water. Lightning McQueen, Finn McMissile and Holly Shifwell were feeling lazy. They took the train to their latest challenge. When they arrived, they got off. The Hot Wheels Shark Challenge was indeed a real challenge. All they had to do was launch at speed, straight down the track, into a corkscrew driving upside down, then up the ramp and take off through the shark's mouth, over the water and land on the island. Simple, what could go wrong? But just in case it does, we have a rescue boat standing by. Refreshments have been laid on and a panel of judges are checking to ensure the rules are obeyed, if they don't fall asleep. Ah, more competitors arriving by train, superheroes. And more competitors have driven here. The running order will be decided by the starting judge. The resident Hot Wheels car will now show the challengers how to do it. Perfect! Now, who else can do it? First to go is Holly Shiftwell. No! Oh. Lands upright though on the train track. Looking again, she lost it at the top of the corkscrew. The judges were not impressed. Next, Ninja Turtle Mikey in his tea machine. Loses it and he's in the water. Judges? Oh, they're asleep. Luckily, the rescue boat is more alert and they get him ashore safely. The first superhero, Ultron. Yes, the judges are on their feet for that one. Our first success. 
Now Mater. Ooh, that could hurt. He lost it at the top and water crashed. One of the judges goes over to Mater. And yes, he's okay. R2D2 riding a truck. May the force be with you. No, it wasn't. And gravity took over. Mike is making sure he's okay though. Spider-Man. Yes, he made it. Did he just bounce off the water? The rescue boat thought they had another rescue, but no. Replay shows he did bounce off the water. Judges? That's okay. Oh, well done, Spider-Man. Finn McMissile. Ooh, loses it coming out of the corkscrew. Luckily, Mater is on hand to get him upright again. Now Fish Face. He also loses it coming out of the corkscrew. One of the judges is coming to help. Iron Man. Surely he'll make it. I think he's fallen short. Yes, he's in the water. The rescue boat are helping. They are pushing him onto the island. Well, does that count? The judges have been watching closely for a change. And no, Iron Man is disqualified for getting help. Last to go, Lightning McQueen. Looks good, but he's landed upside down. One of the rescue team is turning him upright. Judges, does that count? Yes, it does. He only got help when he was already on the island. Well done, McQueen. So that means that superheroes Ultron and Spider-Man, together with Lightning McQueen, are our three winners today. Thank you, judges. Okay guys, said Ryder, we have a new mission. One of our blob friends is stuck behind a wall of fire. Marshall, this looks like a job for you. Good luck and watch out for the dragon. Well done, Marshall, but we already have a new mission. Another one of our blob friends fell into the sea. Zuma, this is your time to shine. Good luck.
nicely done, Zuma, but there's no time to celebrate. One of our blob friends is stuck on top of a really tall volcano. Sky, could you fly to him and save him? Good luck. Okay guys, our final mission of the day. Another one of our blob friends is stuck underneath a pile of branches. Rubble, you know what to do. Good luck.
Catwoman were looking at the Batcave screen when they saw the Joker who had captured a Play-Doh blob. Batman got onto Thomas and raced off. Batman sneaked up behind the Joker and hit him on the head with the mallet. He then brought the Play-Doh blob back to the Batcave. I can hear something inside, said Batman. I'd better open it. It's Olaf from Frozen. Oh no, the penguins caught another Play-Doh blob. You'd better go and get it, said Catwoman. I've got an idea how to catch him, said Batman. Batman went to his cupboard and pulled out a net. Batman took the net and threw it over the penguin. Caught you, he said to the penguin. He then brought the Play-Doh blob back to the Batcave. It's Rex from Toy Story. I can see another Play-Doh blob. It's with the Riddler, said Catwoman. Batman hopped onto Thomas and went off. Batman blocked the Riddler's swing and punched the Riddler in the face. The Play-Doh blob was then brought back to the back cave. Play-Doh blob was open to find Smurfette inside. Batman, Harley Quinn has captured another Play-Doh blob. I'm tired, said Batman. Can you get the last Play-Doh blob, Catwoman? Catwoman clambered onto her motorbike and raced off. pushed Harley Quinn into the water and took the Play-Doh blob. That's not the way back to the Batcave. She's trying to steal the Play-Doh blob, said Batman. I've got to stop her. Batman climbed onto Thomas and steamed away. This rope should stop her, said Batman. Catwoman not noticing the rope goes straight into it, crashing onto the ground. Batman then took the Play-Doh blob and brought it back to the back.
It's Sally from Monsters Inc. I can't believe that Catwoman betrayed me, but at least you're all safe now. Oh no! Captain Hook has stolen some surprise eggs. <laughs> He's getting away, Jake. Load the cannon! Fire! Good shot! Nice one, Thomas! I wonder what's inside? It's Chug! Looks like Hook's got one in that chest. Fire! Another good shot. What's in this Kinder Egg? It's a bike! <laughs> now Hook's got one hidden in that cave! Fire! Blimey! It exploded! So what's in this Toy Story egg? It's Twitch! He's got one hidden in another cave! Fire! That'll keep him down for a while. So who's in the J cave? It's Scully! Ah. Oh no! Hook's trying to escape on Diesel! Fire! What a shot! Diesel didn't even notice! Nice one, Thomas. That's the last we'll see of Hook for a while. So what's in the ugly pet shop tub? It's Jeremy Shepherd. And Horrid Hamster. Well done, Jake. You managed to save everyone.